Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to make these little tags using the stitched circle tag and also the shutter snow globe add-on and the winter skies stamp set. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the sculpted circle tag, the small circle stitch tag and then also the little banner tag thing. And I'm just going to die cut those using white cardstock and black cardstock. So I'm just going to die cut these off screen, but you will see the end results of how many I die cut. So I cut out two of the banner tags, two of the circle stitched, and two of the sculpted. And one of the sculpted one is in black cardstock instead. I'm now going to take one of the small circle tags and I'm just going to colour this in. Again, you could use like a coloured cardstock to save time, but I'm going to be using the True Blue Pro Marker and I just colour it in one direction and then go in the opposite direction to cancel out the lines that you can see that are forming. They're just going in one, one way. taking the foil paper stack which has all these like holographic mirrored card stuck in so we have silver gold red a green and a blue and then the holographic one which we're going to be using for this specific tag i'm also going to be taking the glitter paper stack and this one has red glitter cardstock black gray and a blue it did have a gold but i did use all of that up um, so I'm going to be taking the blue glitter cardstock. Um, again, you could change the colours to match the scheme. So if you have a certain colour gift wrap or whatnot, then you could use that um, as a guide. But I'm just making these as I go. As you can see, I have made one before. So I have an idea of what I'm doing. That's why this video will be quite short compared to most of my others. So I'm just taking the snowflake from the snow globe um, shutter card add-on and I'm just gonna die cut this out of the holographic cardstock and the glitter cardstock. Once I finish die cutting those I keep the little pieces that come from inside these. I put these into a plastic wallet and just keep them. If I ever make a shaker card and I just want to add a little something in Apart from sequins, I use little coughs like this. So it's a really good way of just using up what would normally go in the bin. my elements that I need I'm going to be taking the 3d foam square adhesive I'm just gonna put these onto the back of my small circle stitch dice and this is just gonna prop it up so it's not all flat again you could change this you could use double-sided tape or a tape roller it's just how you want it to look personally so I'm gonna do that I take off the backings off camera just so it's quicker because I do always seem to struggle with doing that. So once I've done that, I just pop this onto my back um, sculpted tag. Um, doing the white one with the blue sort of was a lot easier lining up wise. Um, but with the second one I did, which was the black cardstock, you it was just a little bit harder and you will see me struggle with that. So I'm taking the multi-matte medium glue um, to adhere 
the snowflake. Normally I would use my dot roller, but with it being so thin, I don't want to necessarily rip my snowflake, so that's why I'm taking this. I do need to purchase a, a, a needle nut nib thing for it, just to make it a lot more easier, but... So I'm just going to use my tweezers and work out the placement to this. I do end up moving it again, you'll see that in a second, just to get my desired look. Just going to take the sentiment from the winter skies stamp set so i'm just going to be using the winter and holiday sentiments so the first one i'm going to be using is the holiday sentiment i'm going to be using my grid acrylic block which i got from ebay i will link it in the description and then i'm going to be using my bahama blue memento dewdrop ink you can use whatever color you have in your collection Again, if you're going to be doing this to a specific design to match like your gift wrap or something, obviously you can change the colour to match what you're going to be doing. So I'm just going to stamp that. And obviously it always seems to stick, but there we go. And I'm just going to show you what it would look like when I adhere it all together so you have an idea. There we go, so that's what it gonna look like at the end when I put my twine through this. So I end up just repeating the process with the other. So here we go, as you can see, just exactly the same, just a different color. So I'm just gonna repeat that. taking the winter stamp and I'm just going to be stamping that using again the acrylic lock but I'm going to be using a different ink I can't pronounce it so I'm not even going to try just just to save time but it will always be linked in the description and you can always just pause the video if you want to write that down
I'm just going to bring in my Baker's twine. This is just the blue and white one. And I'm just going to... I was thinking of cutting this like straight away, but I thought about it and I was like, what happens if I cut it too short? So I didn't end up cutting it straight away. I ended up just threading it through. And as you can see, it went through quite easily and I was quite shocked. I was like, okay, because <laughs> normally I really struggle and I spoke too soon to myself. So <laughs> as you can see, I did struggle, but I managed to get it through this time. And I still ended up cutting this too short. So my word of advice is make sure you cut this longer than you actually necessarily need, just so you have that bit of wiggle room so you can work out how much um, you want. It's always better to have too much than too less, and I keep forgetting that. So I'm just going to tie a simple knot, but I'm really struggling with the length of this, so I end up doing it off camera. So I do apologise for that, but you will see me tie the knot on the other one, because I ended up cutting that to the right length that I needed. There you go. And I'm just going to bring in the multimedia glue again, and I'm just going to put some on the back of the sentiment. This is just going to limit the movement it has, as well as just keeping it closer to the top instead of like going all the way down and covering my snowflake. Also, you could use a reinforcer, which is in the sculpted tags die set, just to make it a little bit more sturdy, but I didn't necessarily need to do that. I'm just putting my acrylic block on top of this to set the glue on the sentiment. I'm just going to repeat the process for this one and you will see me struggle a little bit with threading this one through on the, the second part. Okay, so that's the tags done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Everything will be linked in the description box. I also used a different color twine there, but you know. So make sure you subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.